what happens next is just too disturbing to show. Police say the grandma was tangled in her seatbelt as the teen sped off and Linda was dragged for an entire block. Her arm was actually severed. She died at Love. the scene. I, I can't even imagine watching the video when you don't know this person. This is your beloved sister. I just fell to the ground crying. I wish I couldn't help my sister. I just wish I would have been there. There was a t Carjackings have been on the rise in cities across America, but this is one of the most shocking. Police say a 73-year-old grandmother was attacked in her car by four teens and ended up being dragged to her death. Jim Murray has our report, and we warn you, the details are upsetting. Three teens stroll down a street. They're casing a car, and what they do next is utterly horrific. Watch as they circle back. This time, two teens yank open the doors of the silver Nissan. The driver is still at the wheel. She's a 73-year-old lady, Linda Fricky, a grandmother of four. She's leaving her job at an insurance company in New Orleans when she was carjacked. This part of the attack will shock you. After spraying a can of mace into the victim's face, the teen suspect appears to stomp and punch the grandma while his three female accomplices jump into the car. Seconds later, one girl hops out, but the driver takes off with Linda still inside. What happens next is just too disturbing to show. Police say the grandma was tangled in her seatbelt as the teen sped off and Linda was dragged for an entire block. Her arm was actually severed. She died at the scene. Ginny Lynn Griffin is Linda's heartbroken sister. For them to brutally, like, start beating on her, mace her, pull her out the car, I, you know, just could not believe that Linda was murdered. Sister-in-law Kathy Richard is reeling. It's just so deliberate, cruel. The family had recently celebrated Linda's 73rd birthday. They had no idea it would be the last for this woman who was so dearly loved. I, I can't even imagine watching the video when you don't know this person. This is your beloved sister. I just fell to the ground crying. I wish I could have helped my sister. I just wish I would have been there. Police released this surveillance footage of the suspects. On Monday, they were arrested after family members turned them in. The horrific attack is the latest in a nationwide carjacking epidemic. New York City has seen a quadrupling of carjacking over the last four years. Chicago reported more than 1,800 carjackings last year. Now comes this brutal assault in New Orleans. It should never happen to anyone. When they drove off with her in that seatbelt, they knew they were committing murder. Police recovered the stolen vehicle roughly 13 blocks away from the location of that carjacking.